Uh, so this is our ECE 4760 final project and we created a racing game on the FIG32. And so um, our main hardware components are this steering wheel which we 3D printed and uh, it's controlled using an accelerometer and then we have two pedals. One is the brake pedal and one is the acceleration pedal and the amount that they're pressed down is controlled by the slide potentiometer. Mm -hmm. And then our display is on the CRT, which is only in black and white. So this is, this is actually an old style analog television. So, um, and the main advantage of it is that it's relatively big and easy to write to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But only black and white. Yes. Okay. Okay. Steering. So we use an accelerometer we got from a Adafruit and we use an Arduino as our device driver. And so we downloaded the Arduino library for this accelerometer onto the Arduino and then the Arduino connects to our pick board and relays the uh, relevant information for position. Did you have any trouble doing the uh, serial interface between the two? Uh, we didn't. Use we couldn't use the serial interface oh, because right. it could be when we tried to use a serial interface, um, it interfered with the display. display. Like, oh, what did you do? Um, we used the. We just used digital. We used digital pins. Oh, so you just made it made your own rolled your own interface. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. And um, so we also connected a button, and this is our start reset button. Okay. So when you press the button on the TV, you got three. Two, one, and then we start the game. Mm -hmm. and as you roll the wheel left and right, uh, it simulates the steering. Okay, so now uh, uh, press on the accelerator there. Bluey just lost a life. So pressing on the accelerator takes you up the screen. Let me back off a little bit here. So to talk more about how the in-game physics works a bit, it's that the, the general method of the controlling your position on the screen is based on a velocity and acceleration uh, value that is related to the car, and the acceleration pedal increases your acceleration value on the car, which increases the velocity which is used to control the position. So <clears throat> essentially, when you have by default, your car is going to be have and negative acceleration, just like if you let go of the pedal in real life, your car would go backwards. And this this is, you can see this on the screen, like if I hold up and then I let go, I'll slowly drift backwards. And then the brake does something similar, but on a larger degree, basically. So you accelerate in the negative direction much faster. Um, other than that, I want to talk about how the, um, the collision hitboxes of these um, obstacles and essentially uh, cover it from like all four positions if you like hit it from the side the left to right or like up down you're going to still end up with a collision with the hitbox so you can actually back into yeah, it you can back into okay. the hitbox so we covered all of those and but they, they're generated uh, seated randomly based on the um, the time of the um, program and then yeah and other than that, the other components of the software that we considered were like a life system because <clears throat> the main reason we thought of the life system was that uh, one of our biggest uh, thought processes was if someone just stood up here and just held acceleration, like they don't really have any reason not to do this. But the, re the reason you wouldn't do this is because um, if you eventually hit a, like if, if we have a life system, you'll most likely hit like, nine obstacles before you reach the finish line in this case. So other than that, we have different sound effects for the um, for the game. So this is the sound effect for we just played uh, different notes. We considered adding like FM synthesis, but we realized that like the duration of the note, it would be more simple just to have some kind of indicator of a collision. And in mm -hmm. this case, it's just yeah, here are the notes. And then we have different sound effects for finishing uh, and game over and for the notes. So. Those are the two sound effects for game over and hitting an obstacle. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then, actually, just going back to the game screen for a bit, we start the game off by just giving some general instructions on 
how the game's played. We talked about how to use using the steering wheel and using the accelerometer and brake. And then uh, we instruct. We also talk about the life system, where if you if you hit an obstacle nine times, the game is over. And then you press, and then the button, the start button is basically used to control everything else about the game. We also drew these three. Hold on, let me start it over again. Three, two, one. We manually drew those with um, like pixel by pixel, which the same way we also drew the car. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anything else? Okay. Thank you.